welcome to another video of star and delta transformation so today we have a network uh, is given like this in that uh, picture so we need to find out what is r a b that is equivalent resistance between a and b and you can see here the resistance given in this circuit having each resistance value is having 30 ohm so how to find out this r a b so you can see here uh, from this picture so it is very clear that so there are several delta structures you can visible this is one delta this is another delta this is another delta or you can see uh, several stars also so how to approach this numerical so i can see here if i look from this ab side if i look from this ab side i can see clearly this 30 ohm this 30 ohm and this 30 ohm are in series so this 30 ohm and this 30 ohm in series i can make it 60 ohm and this 60 ohm is parallel with this 30 ohm so let us redraw the circuit so after redrawing the circuit i will get like this so i am redrawing the circuit so uh, so this 30 and 30 i can write down like 60 so now i can, now I can make 60 which is 60 ohm and all the resistance values kept as it is and all the resistance values i kept as it is so i can say this is your terminal a this is terminal b so this is all the resistance values i kept as it is so this is 30 this is 30 this is 30 this is also 30 and this is 30 so now you can see this 30 and 60 this 30 and 60 are in parallel so this 30 and this 60 are in parallel so we can make as uh, so by taking its equivalent resistance i can uh, write down this 30 parallel to 60 so equivalent resistance for this equal to i will get uh, 20 ohms i will get 20 ohms so again i will redraw the circuit and i can uh, write down the circuit like this so remember whenever you solve any star delta numerical you have to go step wise so that it will be easy to understand so by redrawing the circuit i will get the similar structure so again i am redrawing the circuit like this so this is your a term this is for term terminal a so this is your 30 ohm again this is your 30 ohm okay <coughs> now this 30 and 60 becomes 20 so i am writing as 20 So I can this is 30, this is 30, this is 30, this is 30. Okay. So now this is terminal A, this is terminal B. <coughs> so uh, this is the simplified form by simplifying this uh, two uh, 30 ohm in series and parallel with 30. So now we can apply delta to star transformation. You can see clearly I can uh, apply transformation in these two uh, uh, deltas low I can say that so I can apply here I can apply here one delta and I can apply here one delta so at a time I am applying delta I am applying delta to start transformation in the delta 1 and delta 3 so by applying uh, transformation so I can get so you can see here in this in this delta all the resistance values are 30 so I, if i will make it to star so i will get like 10 10 10 so let this is your r1 this is your r2 this is your r3 so you can write down here r1 equal to r2 equal to r3 i can get 30 by 3 equal to 10 ohm so similarly if i will write here this is your R4, R5 and R6. Similarly, I can find out R4, R5, R6 also. I will get 10 ohms. I will get 10 ohms. Because all the adjacent resistances of this delta are 30, 30 and 30. So, now I will redraw the circuit. 
by transferring. So, by redrawing the circuit, I will get like this. So, this is your node, node A comes like this. Now, I will write down this is your R 1, this is your R 2, this is your R 3. Okay. So, R 1, R 2, R 3 I kept. So, I can put a node here, I can put a node here, let this node is C. So, I can write down this node is C. Then, from this node you can see R 3 and R 5 are connected together, R 3 and R 5 are connected together. So, I can write down here R 3, then this R 5 will come like this, then R 6 will come like this and this is your R 4 and this is your R 4. So, you can see this is your terminal B. So, this is your R 4, R 5 and R 6. So, in between R 6 and C there is a resistance value is 20. So, resistance value is 20. So, I can keep this 20 as it is. See here. So, now I can write down R 1 equal to 10 R 2 equal to 10, R 3 equal to 10, R 5 10, R 6 10 and R 4 10. Okay. So, from this picture it is clear that this R 2 and this 20 ohm are in series. So, you can see here these two are in series and here also this 10 and R 3 and R 5 are in series. So, I can write down here. 10 plus 10 are in series here, 10 plus 20 are in series. So, again I need to redraw this one, 10, 20 and here also there is a 10, I forgot to mention. So, this 10 is also in series. So, I can write down again. So, in this right hand side, I will get 3 resistance which are in series. So, I can write down this 10 plus 20 plus 10. So, I will get 40 ohm here and here I will get 20 ohm. So, by redrawing the circuit again, I will get like this. So, I will redraw this one. So, I will get this is your 10. So, this side I will get 40 ohms and this side I will get 20 ohms okay. and again this is your 10 ohms. So, this is the terminal A, this is the terminal B. So, you can see here this, this 20 and this 40 are in parallel and this 10 and 10 are in series. So, if I want to find out what is R A B, what is R A B, so I can write down 10 plus 20 parallel with 40, then again series with 10. So, by calculating this, I will get by calculating this, I will get 10 plus 20 multiplied by 40 divided by 60 plus 10. So, this is 20 plus 80 by 6 or 800 by 60. So, I can get like this. So, it will get 20 plus 13.3. So, I can 20 plus 13.3. So, the value will be 13.3 ohms. So, R A B will be 13.33.3 ohms. So, I think this video will be clear. If you have any doubt, uh, let me write in the comment section. Thank you.